paint flew and blank canvases turned into artistic creations last Friday as Art Battle took over the Spice Factory on Houston Street. Spectators came to the event to watch 12 artists compete for a cash prize and bragging rights. The artists had 20 minutes to impress the crowd, each showcasing their different styles and techniques. But once that time ran out, their work was subject to the voting audience. Trisha Smith, one of the hosts of the event, explained how Art Battle made its way to Hamilton. Coming into Hamilton and trying to network within the community, you know, you can go to other people's events, but then we also thought this will be a great opportunity to like build a community of artists, you know, so we have created this huge network of artists over the last two years. Art Battle is a high pressure environment that pushes artists to their limit, resulting in new and different pieces of art. One of the competitors, James Thomas, explained why art isn't the only reason to attend an art battle. It's just a general great vibe. It's super positive. Uh, it's really loose, good time. There's no pressure anywhere, and you get to see something really unique that's happening in the city. Artist Robin Lightwalker talked about the connections that often form at this event. It's like super fun. Uh, it's a great atmosphere. You get to meet other artists. You get to get your name out there in the Hamilton community. Um, and you just get to have a good time. After an intense three rounds of painting, votes came close and first-time competitor Mitch Davis Mann won by a single vote. He explained how he first ventured into the world of art. Ever since I could hold a pencil, like it, it just, I wanted to draw and everything and all my assignments had doodles and then I, I developed into pastels and then went to paint and then, and now I just do everything. Tickets for the event range from 10 to $20 and all ages are welcome. Go to artbattle.com to find out when the next battle will take place. For Mohawk College Journalism, I'm Christopher Arndt.